Hey guys, it's Darwin here today with a brand new video talking about my different backpacking setups and how I pack my pack. Today's video is actually a collaboration video between me and some other cats here on YouTube. And we pretty much wanted to break down how we efficiently pack our backpacks whenever we're doing a backpacking trip. So not necessarily on what the gear is on the inside, but how we efficiently pack it in there. So I wanted to share with you my two different pack setups, not only the pack that I carried on the AT in 2015 and 2016, but also my new pack setup for what I'll be carrying in 2018 on the PCT and what I currently use when backpacking here in New Mexico. All right guys, so first up, let's talk about the pack that I carried for 2015 and 2016 on my AT through hike. This is my Osprey Atmos 65. Now I've done a handful of videos where I break down exactly all the gear that's inside the pack, but I've never really shown how I efficiently pack it so I know where things are and I know that it's gonna be nice and comfortable on my back. So first off, let's talk about the front or uh, the harness. So up here on the front, as you can see on my shoulder straps, the only two things that I carry, my GoPro Session, and I also carry my small Gerber pocket knife right there on the front strap as well. Aside from that, the only other thing that's on the front are my two hip belt pouches, which on this side I usually carry my phone and my page from like my AWOL guide for the AT, and in this side I just carry my snacks. So that's really all that's on the front side of my pack. Now if we go over here to the side, you'll notice that I keep my water bottles. So I'm a big advocate of carrying a smart water bottle because they're light, they're nice to use. I carry two liters at a time, so one on both sides, and they fit really nice here down in my side pouch. So we'll go ahead and pull those out. Now looking at the front of the pack, what I carry in here is if I undo my lid here, and we look at just the front of the pack, you notice I have this kind of big mesh pocket. Now what I keep inside of here are my tent poles and stakes. So my tent poles and stakes are right there in the front, so I can get to them really nice and easy. And if they're wet after I break down camp in the morning, they're on the outside of my pack so I don't have to worry about them getting things wet on the inside. And then sitting right next to that on both sides are my camp shoes. Again, if they're a little wet, that's okay. They'll dry on the outside of my pack. In my right shoe, I actually keep my Rainfly as well. So for my pack, I keep my Rainfly right there so it's easy to get to and also I know that it's gonna dry out on the outside of my pack if I'm not using it throughout the day. Aside from that, I have two side pockets here on the Atmos 65. Um, in this one, it's kind of a big pocket and it takes up a lot of room as you can see right there, but all I really carry in this is my bear bag kit. So that is my rock bag and my paracord, and that's all I carry in there. Um, if I would have done it differently, I probably would have picked a pack that didn't have these side pockets because I really didn't use them. But it was nice to put a couple small things in there. So bear bag kit on that side. And then on this side, I keep my water filter. So right there in a big Ziploc bag, I have my water filter, and I also have my gravity feed system so I can get to it really easy throughout the day. So if we look at the top brain here, you'll notice there's a big zip pocket back here. It's kind of close to my head. And the first thing you'll notice that's in there are shit tickets. So toilet paper. Want to make sure that I get to those as quick as possible because you never know when you have to go. Next up in there is my bug net. So a bug net, in case I got to throw it on my face real quick from mosquitoes or black flies, especially in New England. Next up is my headlamp. Headlamp so I can grab that quick if I'm hiking later in the day or if I need to see real quick. The only other thing I keep up there just because it's efficient to have right there is my spork. So my long handled spork. So pretty much all I keep in my top brain are things that I just need to get to quick throughout the day or at camp as soon as I get there, I keep those up there. A lot of people tend to drop this and take that off their pack. I like to have it just to keep a couple things in there that I need to get too quick. Now, under the brain, or on the inside of the brain, I have this mesh pocket. Now, in that mesh pocket, I pretty much just keep toiletries, like my toothbrush, um, my toothpaste, 
I keep my first aid kit, um, pretty much anything I need to get to quick. I have some Darwin on the Trail stickers in there in case I want to put them at a shelter or in a shelter log. Uh, I have my little rechargeable battery. Um, again, my first aid kit and my electronics bag. So I keep all my cables to charge my GoPro, to charge my phone, I keep everything in there. And that's pretty much it. That's all that I keep in that top mesh pack. Just a handful of toiletries. And again, things that I can get to easy throughout the day if I just flip that lid open. Now, looking at the main compartment of the pack. How I've set my pack up is kind of in a three-part system. So instead of stacking things on top of each other, I put them side to side. So if we open up my top cinch of the bag, the first thing that you're gonna see and notice that's in there is my rain jacket. I wanna make sure I get to my rain jacket quick, especially if it starts raining. I wanna be able to grab that as quick as possible. Most times I wear this, or there's some other times that I've even just kind of strapped it onto the outside of my pack, but most time it's the first thing that I can grab whenever I open my pack. Next up is my food bag. Uh, there's a lot of arguments on where to keep your food bag. A lot of people say don't keep it on top, you should keep it in the middle. I like having my food bag on top because if I run into a town and need to resupply real quick, I can grab it really fast. And because I had this nice big cinch thing, it allows me to kind of give it more room if I have a fuller food bag. And if I'm gonna have lunch throughout the day, it's something I can get to really quick. Now next up, if you guys can see this, and I don't know how good the camera is going to be able to get in on it. But you'll notice that there is my tent right there in the middle. Over here is my cook system with my pad under it. My clothes. And then I just have my ass pad right here. So first up is my ass pad. Just keep that in there. Again, I can grab it really quick and efficiently. Next up is my clothes bag. So I keep it in a waterproof dry bag and right there on the side, all of my clothes and my down jacket, really easy and quick to get to. Next up right down the middle is my tent. Um, if you've watched any of my gear breakdown videos, you'll know that Snuggles carried the footprint for the tent, but I carried the tent and the fly. So I have both my tent and my fly in there. And then next to that is my sleeping pad and my cook system. So this is just something I kind of figured out by hiking. Um, I used to separate them, but my cup fits right over my sleeping pad. In here is my, my rolled up sleeping pad and my pillow. And then I have my cup with my cook system. So I just kind of fit that right on there and it just sits down on the side. So again, I didn't stack anything on top of each other because I wanted to make sure that when I open my pack, I can efficiently get to things as quickly as possible. So if I need to grab my tent real quick, boom, I can grab my tent. If I need to grab my clothes bag real quick, boom, I can grab that. Everything's really nice, stacked sideways, and loaded for efficiency. And then the last thing in my pack, and what I load up in there, is because it's an Osprey pack, it does have this little sleeping bag compartment. So down on the bottom here, I keep my down quilt. So my down quilt, my down booties, and my straps for my sleeping pad are all in there in a nice waterproof row top bag all in the bottom, lowest amount of weight at the bottom, heaviest amount kind of in the center of the back. That is the most efficient way that I've figured out how to pack this pack, and it worked really great for me. Both 2015 and 2016, I had the same setup on my back, and it worked great. Okay, so next up is my pack that I'll be carrying in 2018 on the PCT, and what I currently use when doing any type of backpacking around New Mexico, or pretty much anywhere. It's pretty much my new setup. So this is a Z-Pax Arc Blast Cuban Fiber Bag, and it's a top load bag. So that means it doesn't have any zippers, any extra pockets or pouches. It's pretty much just a really simplified roll top dry bag with straps on it. I've been super happy with it, and it's a really great setup. So just like on my other pack, you'll notice that I have my pocket knife right out here on the strap, so I can get to that really good and quick. And then instead of two pouches on the hip belts, I actually only have one really big massive pouch. And in there, I keep my phone, I keep my GoPro and snacks because that thing is massive. I've been thinking about maybe adding a couple other features to it. Um, they do make a little pocket that sits up here on the strap. So I'm thinking about maybe getting one of those for my GoPro. I haven't decided yet, but for now, the setup's working great. Uh, very similar to my 
pack that I carried on the AT, I keep my water bottles here on the side. Now instead of a smart water bottle, I actually use a Powerade bottle. They're a little bit fatter and they fit in the pockets a little bit better, but still about the same size. So one on both sides of the pack there. And then you'll notice this. This is a solar umbrella. So I keep that on the outside of the pack because I do a lot of hiking in the desert, especially the first 700 miles of the PCT. I'll need that to get some shade. Uh, it doesn't weigh much, so I just kind of keep that right here on the outside under the compression straps. And then if we look at the front of the pack, you'll notice right away something that I don't typically carry, and that is a closed foam cell um, Thermarest z light pad. The reason I carry this and it's on this setup now is for most of the hiking that I do around here in the desert of New Mexico and for the first 700 miles on the PCT, I don't like to carry an inflatable pad. There's a lot of goat heads and thorns from cactus that can pop pads. So for at least the first 700 miles of the PCT, I'll be carrying this pad, which is a little bit inconvenient for me to be on the outside like this. And you know, it's not exactly the most comfortable thing to sleep on, but it is more efficient. So I'll be carrying this for the first 700 miles and then I'll be ditching this at Kennedy Meadows. And then on the inside of the pack here, I have my inflatable pad. So just keep in mind, and as a disclaimer, I'm not gonna be carrying both pads all the time. I just kinda wanted to show you what this looked like as this setup for those first 700 miles. Again, it's a one big compartment pack, so it's a roll top. So the only other feature that's on it is this nice big mesh pocket here on the front. And then in there, I essentially keep things that I don't mind getting wet. So first up, um, in a Ziploc bag, again, are my shit tickets. So right there, so I can grab them quick, I don't have to open up my pack. If I gotta go, they're right there, they're convenient, I can get to them. Next up is my water filter. So again, just like on the AT, it's my Sawyer water filter and gravity system in a Ziploc bag sitting right on the outside. I keep an extra Sawyer soft bag for extra water storage. And then last but not least, in there I have my, my ass pad again. So if I need to grab that really quick, if I'm stopping to eat lunch or taking a rest throughout the day on my hike, I can grab that right out of the front mesh pocket. So aside from that, that is it on the outside of the pack. Um, on the inside, let's go ahead and take a look at that. It has this one main strap here. So you'll notice right away that I'm rolling this out pretty big. It's a massive compartment. Now, the reason this is a great pack for me is right now it has my food bag in it, but there's certain sections of the PCT where you have to carry a bear canister. So I have more than enough room to carry a big massive bear canister in the top of this and still have room for my gear. So I really, really like that feature about this pack. So on those sections, the first thing that I would be pulling out of here is my bear canister. But since I don't have a bear canister right now, it's not in there. So the first thing that is in there, just like my other pack setup, is my rain jacket. So there's my rain jacket, first thing if I need to grab it. Next up is gonna be my food bag again. So very similar to how I set my gear up and how I packed my Osprey pack for the AT. So if we can see on the inside of the pack there, I don't know if you can see that. I have my camp shoes sitting right in front of my cook system. Right under that is my ditty bag. So all the stuff that was in my top pouch and my little mesh pocket, like my toiletries, my headlamp, all of that stuff is in this little bag. So everything's nice and contained in there. I can grab it at camp to kind of get all my little ditties, hence why it's called a ditty bag, and get to all that stuff pretty quick. Right under that is my clothes bag. So again, same exact clothes bag. I'll pretty much be using the same setup that I used on the AT with a couple exceptions. Right under that, sitting right next to each other are my sleeping pad and my tent. Now this is my Six Moons Design one person tent. I don't have any tent poles for it because I do use my trekking poles to set it up. So it is a trekking pole tent. So that's pretty much it. That is my stakes, my tent, and my ground tarp all in there and sitting right next to my sleeping pad. Again, I won't have this for the first 700 miles, but it is in there now. Then the last thing in that roll top pack is my quilt. So everything layered straight down in a really big, massive compartment. I really, really love this pack. It's been great. 
Um, and it's definitely gonna work for me awesome out on the PCT. It's been working for me good on my trips around New Mexico. So I'm pretty excited to take that out and carry that on the PCT the entire time. So again, like I said in the beginning, this is a collaboration video between me and a couple other cats here on YouTube. If you wanna check out their videos of how they packed their backpacking gear, I'll put the links up here or you can check in the description box below and I'll put a link to each one of their channels. So definitely go and check those videos out. If you haven't got a chance yet, go over and check me out on Instagram. I've been posting a lot of new photos lately of the things that Snuggles and I do throughout the week and previews of the new videos that I do every Thursday. Go ahead and like or dislike this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and as always guys, thanks for watching.